Hello and welcome to a new craft video. Today I will try to make terrazzo from old glass bottles. And off we go. We don't need a lot of materials to make terrazzo. Just old glass bottles and concrete. I have the bottles here now. I use green beer bottles as you can see. You can of course also use other colors or combine different colors with each other. Everything is possible. We have to destroy the bottles first so that we end up with small shards of glass. And I will start with that now. In order to prevent the glass splinters from flying around here now, I will put the bottles in a few clothes bags and then you can easily crush them with a hammer. There are basically many variants for the production of terrazzo. The glass can also be bought in finished granulate, for example. You can also buy stones in different colors and add it to the concrete. As you can see, I first roughly crushed the glass bottles and then sorted out the larger shards and crushed them again. I have now chosen the pieces here, so that they are 1 to 2 cm in size. I like that very much. Everything else can you of course be decided. If you like larger granulates better, you can leave the pieces larger. Ultimately, the sides of the broken pieces should not be too different. Well, Sarah now has the broken glass. As you can see, it worked. Then you can continue with the concrete. You can basically use any concrete for terrazzo. I will use a fine mixture here. If you have a coarser concrete, such as Crete concrete, then you will later have the coarser stones in the concrete, which will then also be sanded off. So I then have a pure white result with these same colored splinters in it. Then let's mix the concrete. The concrete I used here is a high performance and very fine graded mortar. This is a ready made mixture that only needs to be mixed with water. I have now mixed the concrete so fast that I will now put some of the broken glass into the mold and then I will add the concrete. You can then either add the broken glass into the concrete or you can do it as I did by simply inserting the broken glass into the formwork. Then you have to make sure that the rounded sides look down. Otherwise there will be unattractive cavities later at the surface and it doesn't look good. Then you can simply fill the formwork with the concrete. To reinforce the concrete I used plastic fabric here. The use of glass fibers is not recommended for terrazzo because you can see them later on the sanded surface. So folks, that has worked out quite well so far, I would say. I will let the concrete harden now and see you again for the surface treatment. I'm curious to see what the result will look like. So here I am again, the concrete is hard, I let it cure overnight. Then let's take a look at the result. You have already seen the panels that has been completely removed. From the surface you cannot see that much. It still has to be sanded. I will let the plate cure for a few more days and then I'll continue with the sanding. For grinding the surface I use an electric grinder. I use sandpapers with grits from 80 to 240. 
Normally special concrete grinders with diamond discs are used to sand down concrete, but for such small surface you can also use normal sandpapers and uh, electric grinder. I'm ready with the rough grinding and it worked quite well. So let's do the fine grinding now. I sanded the fine grinding wet and for this I used special wet sanding paper with grains of 400 to 1000. When using fine sandpaper I would advise you to soak the paper in water shortly before use until the paper rolls up by itself, which means that the paper doesn't become so quietly with a fine dust. So it doesn't clogs with the sanding dust and can be used longer. Then it is sanded until the surface no longer offers any resistance and the paper is then practically only passed over the surface. You can find the link for this in the video description below. Now you know how to make terrazzo from old glass bottles. I hope you liked the video. If you want to see more projects from me, subscribe to my YouTube channel to not miss any more videos. I hope we see each other again in my next video. Until then, take care. Goodbye.